everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. The topic today is going to be, I actually have a topic, can you believe it? It's going to be, does the love bug, as Jim says it's like a tongue twister, yes it is, does the love bug make you blind? Hmm, what do I mean by that? Well, years ago, now we're going to talk 40 years ago, 40, 41 years ago maybe, or close to 40, well it's a little over 40. 40, almost 41, mm. I think. Almost. We're going to yeah. go way back to when I was dating. Okay. And when you are when you find the someone that you want to spend time with, do you become blind to their ways? And do you want to give them the world? Well, that's usually what you feel like. You want to give them the world. You want to give them anything and everything that they want. So... What advice did I receive when I was when I before I got married? I worked at a nursing home at the time, and there was a a gentleman that used to come in to visit one of his relatives or a friend or somebody. I don't know who, whether he was related or not, but he used to come in, and he was a financial advisor. And he said to me, he says, you know, I know you didn't ask. I never asked for any um for any in any Help. Advice. advice. Or... Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. I never asked for any advice. But he seemed to want to give the advice because it was his job to protect people. And he felt that he saw how hard I worked and he knew I was a saver because oh, everybody knew in the building I was a saver <laughs> because I didn't know it at the time because. <laughs> Taxes, you know, when you did your taxes, everybody was saying about how they did short form, short form, short form. <laughs> I didn't do short form, and I didn't realize that you did short form if you didn't have any interest in the bank. Well, I had too much interest in the bank to do the short form, so that told you I had quite a bit of money. Way back in the late 70s, early 80s, and he knew that I was a saver. And he said to me, he says, I know you love, well, it was Jim, of course. <laughs> it's the only person. Um, and want to give him the world, but he says, remember, do not, and he said, and he stressed it, do not put his name on your bank accounts. Because guys go crazy, he said, when they see that there's a lot of money and they, they, they like their toys they like their new cars, they like their motorcycles, they like their whatever mechanical stuff. And they will spend it like water. And you worked many, many years, you worked over 10 years to get this, so you don't need him coming by. And in a flash, just, just spending it. So he said, do not put his name on your account. So when we got married, I didn't put his name on my account. My mother's name was on there forever. Forever and ever and ever. And I kept saying that money that I saved, that's for a house. That's what my plan was. I was going to put it towards a house. And there was no way he was going to, to get me to spend it on something not too smart. Well, I continued to work. And also, he advised that if, you're, if you um, learn to live on the lesser of the two pays, Always do that if you can. Learn to live on the lesser of the two. And at the time, of course, I made more money than Jim. He was making less, and it's unfortunate, but he makes more than me now. <laughs> so, But at the time... I was just a lowly farm worker. <clears throat> yep, he was a farm worker, and farm I worked for the there. county. So I had a county job, and county jobs were paying $2.33. <laughs> when you think of that... It's, it was, I was wealthy. The hospital was only getting a dollar eighty-five, so I was doing pretty darn good. And I don't know what he was getting. He was probably getting a dollar eighty-five minimum wage. They, they paid us better in the county. And um, so we learned to live on the lesser of the two pays. And so when it came time for me, because I, I had said before, and you want to, before you get married, Another thing you want to do is you want to establish the groundwork of 
what your income will be looking like. Um, so like we planned to spend only his money. My money was to go in the bank, which was basically our money because it was going towards a house. And what was something else I was going to say? Oh, she forgot. <laughs> oh, man, it just went out because I took too long on that answer. Um, um. <laughs> oh, gosh. You're going to think I'm really wacko. <laughs> I am wacko. I'm a little bit off. But um, I don't know where I was going with that. But oh, what was I saying? I have to rewind. I can't rewind. Oh, darn. I was. It would have brought back. When I'm listening to this, I will remember. But you want to you want to live on the lower of the two, and a bank the other. And even though it was considered mine, it really wasn't mine because it was going to buy a house. So we learned to do that. So that because what? Oh, I was talking about when you before you get married, you decide. Like I planned to not work all my life. That was my goal. I wasn't going to work all my life. I was going to, if we had children, I was going to stay home and take care of the children. Well, I did that, but I always wanted to make money. So what did I do when I got my 10 years in with the county? Yes, I did quit my job. I, they actually wrote retired because I had the 10 years in. You had to have 10 years to vest your rights to a pension because otherwise you wouldn't get a pension and my pension's very tiny because at the time you got to remember it was 10 years of work but it, my top pay was five dollars and ninety cents that's my kids when I tell them that I was making good money and they go five dollars and ninety cents that's not much where they I don't even think the minimum wage which I don't know is over ten dollars it's ten I don't know what it is um, now, but it's, it's high. eleven something now. Uh, eleven something, which <clears throat> is a lot of money, you know. I think when I was doing daycare, I finally was making some pretty decent money. But I was self-employed, and then I had two ladies working for me. So there was a time where I wasn't even making fifty cents an hour. In fact, the girl told me, she says, "You realize you're not even making fifty cents an hour." And I go, well, yeah, I know, but it'll change, and it would change when the as the kids grew older. But where I got off track again, oh man, <laughs> I don't know where I was going again. I get off track so bad, so so bad. I don't know. I, I keep know. following your tracks. And the, and it's a right. It's a railroad track. You you, have you ever been to the railroad tracks? That will go there. It's <laughs> it's like yes. And some trains will go to the left. Switching yard. Switching yard, yes. They go to the left or go to the right or go to straight ahead. Well, that's my brain. It's going every which way. And I get off track. And it's, it brings me to a new whatever. I need a commentator. Or need not a com need somebody that's got a, a map. You need a narrator or a... A map. I need a map so when, you, when I do something, you write on the big board. Okay, she was talking about this and... Then my my train of thought came over to here, so it's like a family tree. It would look like, mm -hmm. but yeah. So you want to the thing that he said is don't put the name on the account, so because you want to keep it and live on the lowest pay. So that we did do. Then it was time to buy the house, and we bought the house, and then that killed the account pretty much. Mm -hmm. That just about did us in. And we were very, 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 very poor. So we lived in a house that needed a lot of repair. And thank goodness Jim could do a lot of the repairs. So all you had to do was save the money to buy the material, which was expensive. Mm -hmm. When we, we got it, had to got every single room in the house. And it was like approximately, by the time you got it, it put up the um, insulation. insulation, the new wiring, and some rooms was new ply, plumbing, whatever. Plumbing. It ended up about, and new windows, it ended up about $4,000 per room is what we figured. So it was costing a pretty penny. And I remember somebody saying something about the outside of my house was really ugly, really ugly. And I thought, well, you know, Rome, like my mother would say, Rome wasn't built in a, in a day. So it's going to take us a while. We took 15 years of doing the inside room Gym, room by, by room. room one room a year yep and 
finally did. And we did two rooms one year because that oh, was when the ceiling that fell. That was terrible. That was awful. But we did do that. And so um, you have to work as you can afford. And so like a lot of you that are still struggling, it'll pass in time. You'll get it done. It will get better. Yeah. And then you get to the point where you feel like you're comfortable again. Well, I was on the the, the spiel where I, <laughs> I wanted to stay home, but I went to work. And what I did is, yes, I quit my job. I stayed home, but I wanted to make money. So what did I do? Because I have a hairdressing license. I got myself an independent job to where I would go to this nursing home that had just opened up. And I would bring my two children with me, and they would, they would play with the old people. The old people used to look forward to them. They'd have coloring books and things out for them and games out for them because they wanted. They used to love it when they would come and play. And then the kindergarten school next door started a grandparent program because they had found that my kids going there was really beneficial to the older people, so they started a program where the kindergartners would go over on a certain day and visit the old folks and spend time with them, and that was really, it was uplifting. They had something to look forward to. We and, also had a, <coughs> set up a shop here in the house for oh, you. Oh, yeah, and then, then um, because I was going to have a third baby, I wanted to subcontract my contract to somebody else so that they could hold my spot while I was on maternity leave, they wouldn't do it. It was a new director, and he wouldn't do it. So Jim opened up a little shop for me here. I had a beauty shop in the house, and we'd go to church, and people would follow me home from church, these guys, because there was no barber left in town. The barbers had all, one retired and one the other one moved to Florida, so there was just me. And had I been smarter... A lot smarter, but I wasn't. I would have opened a barber shop, beauty shop, and just continue to do it. But now my daughter has that, and she's doing really well. She's one of the um, only, well, there's two sh two shops, I think, in town, maybe three. Mm -hmm. But she's the one that's in demand. But uh, um, So I did hair, and I brought my children with me. And then when I was going to have the fourth child, I decided it's time to open a daycare. So that's what I did. I opened the daycare. So I was always bringing in some money, even though it wasn't a lot for the hair. The hair I worked two days a week, and I only work and I worked just from like maybe ten o'clock or nine o'clock till two o'clock in the afternoon. I didn't have long days. They were they were pretty short because I didn't want the kids to have to be there for too long. So this way they enjoyed their time, and we had they had lunch there. And then we would come home. And on a different day, we'd go to play groups and stuff like that. I'm all over the place with this. <laughs> oh, my stars. Well, it brings, what it is is it brings memories of other things that we did along with when the kids were little. Because you, you, you want to, um, you want to let them see what, Got to give them a variety, variety of experiences. That's right. See, he said it perfectly. I should have him in front of the camera, but he doesn't want to no. be in front of the camera. Um, so, and the whole thing was um, that my topic, if I can get back to it, was does does um, the love bug make you blind? It can, but you got to remember not to. Now that I'm old. <laughs> Yeah, I am. You old? I'm no. Old. I asked my grandkids, "Am I old?" And they go, "No." And I says, "Is your other grandma old?" "Oh yeah." And it's so funny because she's not much older than me. She might be one or two years, is all. But, um, anyways, um, now that I'm old, I got to get back on the track again. <laughs> uh, that train stopped at that station, and I almost got off. Almost. Almost hit a siding. Yeah. But um, so what I did is when, when, because when you get to a certain age, now you want to start thinking of what if I die or what if he dies? Everything's got to be in two names. Otherwise, it will go to probate. And you don't want things to go to probate. So what you do is you put two names on. So now 
everything has his name on it or, and my name added on to it. The only thing that doesn't is one of your motorcycles. I don't have my name on the mm -hmm. on the Kawasaki. Yeah, I think that's the only yeah. thing. I would have a hard time because what happens is when somebody dies, you have to prove that you own it. So that means you have to bring the death certificate, you have to bring the title, and I don't know, it's a lot of rigmarole, not something I want to mess yeah. with. But everything else, in the truck, does the truck have my name on it? Uh, I believe the truck does so. have your name on it. You yeah. know, so we put everything in our name, in both names. So, And when my parents, before my parents died, we did the same thing. We put my name on it so that when my um, dad passed away, my mom and I were the ones. And so when she passed away, it just moved over to me. And then I was responsible to take care of everybody and my brothers and sisters because my parents... Even though they didn't make very much money, my dad, uh, it's so sad what um, they made for 20 years of working in a steel plant. You know, you'd think he'd make big money being a steel plant. He, he is, His Social Security was 800 and just a little over 800 And his pension, after 20 years, was 300 and something. It was so sad. And yet, because they were frugal people, and they did a lot of farming, and they raised a lot of their stuff, and they had six kids. And we fished. He fished a lot. Yeah, he did a lot of fishing. Jim just threw, cast, he just cast out a fish, cast out a line. Um, he did fishing, he did hunting, and he did raising of the only of our animals and farming. And because of that, we always thought we were rich. We never knew. we And, and, and I never realized... My parents finally paid for the house that we were living in in 1960, which is a long time because they got married in 1940. So that's a long time to be um, paying paying for the house. And years ago, they and I'm really off this <laughs> this this video. It went from whatever love causing the you, love bug. Yeah, it's it's bringing you into my my um, growing up. My dad and mom had a lot of chickens, and I, I remember plucking the pin feathers. But anyways, what it was is my dad had gotten sick, really sick one year, and they had to deliver eggs. They used to have so many eggs that they used to deliver eggs. I don't know who they delivered them to, but she had a big, huge panel truck that she had to drive, that, would, that my dad would drive. And my Uncle Sam would come and take my mother around to do the egg delivery. Well, my mom didn't have a driver's license at the time, and so she decided maybe it was time for her to get a driver's license. So she got a driver's license, and she took her test in this two-ton truck, or t I don't know, it was a big truck, big, big truck. It was a big, it had panels on it, and it was a big truck. And so, and it was standard, and so she took her test in that. And so that's, I guess, we're going round and round and round again. And where we stop, nobody knows. Or round and round and round we go, and where we'll stop, no one knows. I shot an yep. arrow in the air, and I shot an arrow in the sky, and where it lands, I know not why, or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think that was a poem of something. It was a poem. A poem, but I don't remember the poem. Maybe I somebody out there. It was a Robin there. Hood poem or something. Could be. Like I that. don't know. Somebody out there might know what it was. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so don't shoot an arrow in the sky. Oh, today was beautiful weather, and I don't know if you're allowed to call it uh, the kind of summer that we used to call it. We used to say it was our Indian summer. Are we allowed to say that? I don't know what we're allowed to say anymore. It's gotten to the point where I'm, I'm so confused, as you can tell. <laughs> so I guess that was my circle of love. <laughs> <laughs> we went from getting married to dying. So I hope you enjoyed, and we'll talk to you all again tomorrow. So take care. I hope you could follow this. <laughs> so I'll see you. Bye-bye.